here's what my telescope looks like with the cover on, and here's what it looks like with the cover off. So you may be wondering, now the cover's off, what am I going to be imaging tonight? And the target that I'm imaging actually has a lot of meaning um, behind this setup and my whole YouTube channel in general, and you'll find out what that target is later. And I'm going to make really good use of these three clear nights in a row to pr shoot probably one of my favorite objects in the night sky. And it's something that has a lot of meaning behind this telescope because it's actually the first object I shot with this telescope and this mount. All I had was an interferometer cable and a DSLR. gardens are really doing good this summer. We got cukies in that garden, some tomatoes, variety of vegetables. Look at those. Um, and we got the big zucchini and summer squash over here. Yeah, pretty nice. I checked the forecast earlier today and it looks like we're going to have three clear nights in a row. Tonight, tomorrow, and Monday. So Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night. Looks like it's going to be crystal clear all night. The only downside to that is that the moon's going to be out later and later tonight. I think tonight I have about two or three hours of moonless sky. Tomorrow I have like two and the next day I have like an hour of moonless skies. So we're going to have to deal with the moon a little early on in the night but then hopefully if the more data I capture on this target hopefully I'll be able to even it out and make a smooth image. But I remember the next day processing that image on the computer and it really blew me away and that's why I used it for so many of my profiles so you probably know what this this target is right now tonight I'm really tonight in the next few nights I'm really gonna spend my time on it with this uh, new and improved gear I have here and probably hopefully make one of my best images ever I know that this target is really really bright so I should have no trouble capturing it and it fits the field of view absolutely perfect with this telescope and setup and camera combo so that DSLR also that I was shooting was not modified. This DSLR is modified, so it should be an amazing picture at the end of this video. And I don't know why I'm keeping the target from you any longer, because you already know what it is. It is the Dumb Dumb Nebula. Beautiful, bright, um, planetary nebula. And I should have a lot of fun with it tonight. When you keep your gear outside all the time like I do, you get these little guys occasionally um, making webs on your telescope equipment. Some little insects do get under the covers like spiders, but mostly under cover your telescope stays pretty spotless, especially under, I, I have three layers of covers, so I'm pretty comfortable leaving the telescope out here. Maybe in the winter I'll probably bring the OTA in, but I'll leave the mount out. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea, but I just kind of, in the summertime, in these warm nights, um, I really like leaving the scope outside. It gets so much easier to set things up for a night of imaging. Look at that. And just to think that that is only a 30 second exposure, auto stretched. It's just amazing. So guys, if you can see this right here, this is just a 30, like I said, this is just a 30 second exposure on the Dumbbell Nebula. One of the things that shocked me the most when I first imaged this target was how bright it was in just a short exposures. I think the last time I imaged it, I did two minute unguided exposures, which was impressive with this focal length. But I was able to pick up so much noiseless data on it because the target is just so bright and appears so big with a scope like this, even though it is pr quite small. So hopefully tonight we'll, I'll be able to get five hours. The next night, the next night so should have a total of around 15 hours to make a really awesome photo of this nebula, my best photo yet. And I'll do, at the end of the video, hopefully I'll be able to do a little before and after action, which should be cool, but 
I'm just really excited knowing that this is only a 30 second exposure auto stretch with my new camera. Obviously that has a factor to do with it as well. Going up to check on the session. Okay guys, so here's one of the first um, sub-exposures, well the 11th sub, 3 minute exposure on the Dumbbell Nebula. And as you can see there, it's really beautiful. I'm picking up so much beautiful hydrogen details on the outside. It does seem a little washed out because of the moon, but the moon will set later in the night, so I should have some really good quality data on the Dumbbell Nebula. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. It's it's a pretty fun night when you get to shoot one of your first targets you shot with. I shot earlier with this rig. Such a bright, beautiful target. And I should have a new profile picture from my YouTube channel soon. 15 hours on the dumbbell. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, please be sure to subscribe. And as always, clear skies.